Welcome back to Cardades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with six months of set theory and higher order logic. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is membership. So, the simplest and most central symbol to set theory is the relationship between an element and a set. This is the membership operation. It is represented by this kind of curvy E symbol. This allows us to use propositional logic to talk about sets. Unlike a proposition P, which has a truth value, and so can be used with operations like or, or and, or implies, or is materially equivalent to, or negation, a set or an element does not have a truth value. It's not true that the set of all diamonds, or it's not true that the null set. They don't have a truth value, so we can't use them in propositional logic yet. It's not really a full statement. It's only part of a statement. To use set theory with logical operations, we need some kind of relationship between sets and other things. Membership is the most basic of these relationships. So, therefore, we're going to read X curvy ES as X is a member of S. We might say that my pet howler monkey is a member of the set of all animals. These are propositions which express a relationship between element, an element and a set. If the element is actually a member of the set, then the proposition is true. If not, it's false. If we define A the set A as Africa, Europe, Asia, then the proposition Africa is a member of A would be true, but the proposition Australia is a member of A would be false. So this membership symbol basically gives us a way to tell whether or not a theory of, of set theory, a statement in set theory is true or false. So while the set of all lizards in the world isn't true or false. The statement that an iguana is a member of the set of all lizards in the world can be true or false. So that membership allows us to assign a truth value to sets. Some people are going to use this kind of curvy E with a slash through it to signify that a particular object is not an element of a set. But this does not need to be a new basic relation, since we're just going to define it in terms of membership. So anti-membership in terms of membership, or non-membership in terms of membership. For all x and all a, x is not a member of a is equal to, by definition, it's not the case that x is a member of a, or just kind of a rule of replacement. We can switch back and forth between x is not a member of a, and it's not the case that x is a member of a. We don't need a new basic relation that's importantly different. We're just negating our original membership statement. We're saying that when x is a member of a is true, then x is not a member of a is false, and vice versa. We're going to call this definition, because it will show up in proofs, the non-membership, definition of non-membership. Up next, we're going to look at ways to define a set. We're going to learn some more about notation, that vertical line we've been using. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org. Watch a new video every single day for the entire month of October, and stay skeptical, everybody.